hello guys welcome welcome and it's been a long time since i uploaded a video to my youtube channel but now i'm going to pick up and do a lot of different projects i'm not really going to focus on you know on networking it's going to be more on just everything overall and for this one um something that i always wanted to do and what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be hosting a website on the dark net so we're going to get a dot onion website and for this i have created a droplet or a vps on digitalocean.com and we are going to be using that server so we can host our website on the dark web the dark net or on it's going to be a dot onion website so let's go ahead and do that it's going to be quick and easy i'm going to show you how to do it so first, you know, I already created my VPS over here. Doesn't need to be that expensive because we're going to be running this a an Apache server, a website, right? Oh, unless you're getting a lot of traffic, then you're gonna need to create uh, a website that can handle all your traffic and you know all the uh, the CPU and all that good stuff. So first, let's go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and copy this IP address. I'm going to go to my command line and from here i'm going to connect to it so we're going to do ssh we're going to connect this root and let's go ahead and paste this in here uh that's the ip and then we are going to specify the key that we're going to be using to connect to it say yes there you go so now i am connected um let's go ahead and clear the first thing that we need to do um, is that let's do a, an update so so we can update the repository um, this doesn't really take long so we're going to update the repository after this is done um, we are going to be um, installing Apache um, so Apache 2 basically Apache lets you run our host a website on the clear net and then when we host that on the clear net we are going to be passing it to the dark net all right so here we go. Let's go ahead and do. You can do tutorial apt oh, install Apache 2, and we are going to be doing it like this because it's going to ask us if it's okay to install it. And I just want to skip that and say um, negative y just so it can just say yes, right? All right, so that shouldn't really take long. We are going to install Apache. And we're going to see that it's going to be running. Um, so <clears throat> now if we go to that install. So now if we go to that IP address, we are going to see that it is running Apache. So there we go, Apache 2, default page. Let's go ahead and change that page real quick. So we're going to do, oh, did I get disconnected? Never mind, there we go. So we're going to go to nano. We're going to go var, dub, dub, dub html index the html and we actually let's go ahead and say we're just going to remove that because we are not going to use it and we are going to create a new index file and all i'm going to put in here is a h1 right a header and we're going to say this is our first dark net website okay h1 we are going to close this see if i remember my html days there we go so now if we go to apache if we refresh here we go this is our first darknet website cool so it is running on the clear net it is good so now we want to go and put this on the dot onion um network right on the tor network and for this we're going to have to install tor so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and go to my command line real quick let's go ahead and clear this so you can see it better see it on top so the way that you install tor is really easy you use the sudo apt install tor and that's going to install the tor um you know software so we can run our tor or dot onion site or the dark net website and this doesn't take long okay that is installed now what we need to do is we need to edit the um the tor um file so for this we gotta go to nano 
and from here uh, see so if I remember Etsy Tor and then the file is called TRRC so this file here what we need to do is we need to uncomment uh, this two right here Un uncomment this one and uncomment that one let's go ahead and save it real quick so now if we do home let's do in cats verify that is there we can see that we have on comments yep so this is good it was saved good so that is good so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and start tour so you can do tr t o r and when you whenever you do that it gives you an error it's saying that you need to uh, that you try to run it with there we go. The address is already in use. Is Tor already running? Maybe it is already running. Okay, so it is already running, so that's good. So now, our next step is we need to, we can do a system um, control, and then from here, we can do a status of the Tor. Yep, and you can see that it's activated and it's up and running. Um, and Apache is probably running as well, of course. If Tor is running, then Apache is running, so they're both running, so that is great. Uh, we can clear that up. Now the next step is, um, it is up and running, so what you need to do is you need to get your actual website, right? The that on your website, because you know it gives you a, a bunch of characters. Um, so let's go ahead and do a cat. Let's do a var. We go to the library, Tor, and in here, hidden service right hidden did i go to the right one uh var lib let's see huh it's not in here so cat var lib tor this one ls var lib um, tor Keys. Um, and why is it not showing it over here? Okay, so that is because it was running, right? Yeah, it was running before we edit the the file. Remember, we edit this. We edit this file, and since it was running before we edited this file right here, right? It didn't put it in this destination. Um, so now we what we need to do is we need to restart Tor. So if we do a system CTL restart Tor. Cool. So now if we go to nano, we go to var lib Tor hidden services host name. And we don't want a nano, we just want a cat so we can display it. And here we go here's our onion website let's go ahead and copy that and for you to be able to get to a onion site or to the dark to the dark neck to the dark web whatever you want to call it you need to use a tor browser and for that i have my tor browser up and running already it's really easy to install come on okay you don't want to move let's go ahead and move it like this there we go so i have a tor browser up and running so i'm just going to paste my website and and come on you can do it there we go i got there this is our first darknet website so now you can see that we can see it on the that's a dot onion and we can also see it in the clear net right here so good this is up and running we have hosted our first that onion website so this is it for this video guys thank you guys for watching and i will see you on the next one bye bye guys